Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the round of 64 in the NCAA tournament right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Joe Duffy has intangible metrics, advanced metrics, every kind of metric that you can want, and that's why he gives us such great advice in these videos. It's also why he has a track record of success 30 years long, going all the way up to last week. Right, Joe? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, since June 1st, 1988, and we're back in a nice groove at the right time. I mean, any time's a good time, but as far as a lot of people like to jump on the bandwagon in March Madness, so we're hot at the right time for them. How'd you do last week, Joe Duffy? Uh, we're, we, you know, I'm actually off of an eight and six night last night. We had a very solid run in the uh, conference tournaments. And as of right now, we're way ahead in college basketball and the NBA. All right, there you go. Well, UNC Harvard is the game we're going to look at now. Uh, you know, Harvard opened as a nine-point underdog. Now it's prepped up to 10. So uh, UNC has taken some action. The total is 132.5 or 133. And, you know, when we have a dominant team in the Ivy League, a lot of times you want to look to them to at least be a good bet against the spread in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Harvard wasn't really one of the, those kinds of dominant Ivy League teams, were they? They, uh, they had a couple of losses. They lost to Cornell. Even getting into the tournament, they just squeaked by Yale, uh, winning by just two. So um, I'm not sure that Harvard is the kind of team that, um, that I'd be eager to bet on. And they're going up against UNC, and UNC is not really the kind of team they're looking to bet against. They're not star-driven. They have a very good, um, complete, balanced team this year. They've had an up-and-down regular season, but they look like they're kind of in an upswing right now. Wouldn't really want to bet on Harvard. Wouldn't really want to bet against UNC. Ten points is a hell of a lot, though. Thinking maybe about the under. You've got to figure Harvard's going to employ a slowdown pace for this game, and UNC will probably be more likely than not to um, to agree to that kind of a of a game, at least for uh, you know most of it. So maybe I take a shot with the under 133. As far as the spread's concerned, I, it's going to be a pass for me. I wouldn't go either way. As far as the bracket's concerned, definitely UNC all the way. What's your take on this game, Joe? I would agree that this is not a very likely upset here. Harvard did well because they are one of the taller teams in the uh, Ivy Leagues, and they matched up well size-wise against most teams. But you mentioned Cornell. Cornell is without question the best interior defense that they faced in the Ivy League, and they got just 90 and 46 points per 100 possessions in those um uh, I'm sorry, the, the, they struggled against Vermont and Virginia outside of conference, and then they struggled against Cornell in the conference, and they are some of the bigger teams that they faced all year. Uh, one thing North Carolina does have is height. Now, it's true that North Carolina is not a very good defensive team, but Harvard just does not have enough inside presence to right. uh, exploit that because, as I said, any time that Harvard's played against it's any team that has a decent interior defense, they have struggled, so it's kind of a Peter Principle case here where Harvard just does not match up very well at all against UNC's size. And yeah, UNC is a team that a lot of people think they're better. Th their talent is better than they've shown this year, and here is a good chance for them to make a big statement. I think they will, the big chalk. All right, well, I can't say I disagree with that, but what about the under? Because, you know, Harvard got absolutely mm. destroyed by Virginia. They came within yeah. 10 of uh, Arizona State. Both those games, though, went to 102 and 103. So both those games went well under this total. What do you think about maybe a shot with the under 133, Joe? I would have to agree with you because, as I said, I just don't think Harvard's going to be able to score inside. Harvard has done very well scoring inside against those smaller teams, but that is not the case here. So they've not only struggled, but more specifically, they struggled on offense against those bigger teams. And as I said, North Carolina, not one of the better defensive teams in the country, but they do have the athletes who should be able to uh, swat the ball away, mm -hmm. and, and Harvard should struggle what they do best, which is usually throwing it down low, and it's just a bad matchup for All them, right. So, especially offensively. So, yeah, I would say the under is a good play. But you would prefer UNC minus 10 to under 133? You got it. Okay, thanks, Joe.